Hi everyone, Linda here from Gumnut Lane Wearable Art Jewelry. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, today we're going to be working on a ring. It's a little heart ring. Um, it's probably a little bit late for Valentine's Day, although it's very quick and easy to make. So you could probably um, punch a couple out before Christ uh, before um, Valentine's. Um, but otherwise, it's a really cute little earring. Uh, sorry, ring that you could wear. Um, anytime just uh yeah it's just a really cute ring so I'll, I'll give you a look at that ring move these out of the way so you can see so it's just a really cute little ring i'll pop it on and that's what it looks like on your finger so as i said really cute you can make this for a little girl um just for someone that you love uh, now I'm having trouble getting off my finger. Okay, and it's just stuck on my knuckle. There we go. Got it off. All right, we'll just set that aside. So what we're going to need is some um, 18 gauge wire. You could possibly do it in a 20, but I think it'd be a little bit flimsy in a 20. So some 18 gauge. I'm using um, silver for this one. And some 28 gauge wire. Um, a little bead, uh, gemstone of your choice. The, the one I showed you had... Um, the red stone in it which is obviously more for valentine's day but you could also do it as a birthstone as well so whatever um birthstone color um whoever you're making it for what month their birthday is you could pop that stone in there i'm just going to be using a little which i can barely hold on to here a little um it's a teal colored um crystal uh rondelle in uh yeah in the teal color so um we'll get started on this ring just get everything out of the way i've already cut a piece of um wire which is uh what did, what did i cut that 12 centimeters which is roughly i think about four and three quarters inches in the in the 18 gauge all right let's get started just going to grab my fine nose uh, chain nose pliers and just going to go Roughly, oh, move my camera down a little bit. I always have trouble with that. Roughly about there on your wire. So you've got the longer end on this side. So what does that, that look like? About an inch and a half, maybe, in. And I'm just going to go to the very tip of my pliers. And I'm going to make a bend. So just like that. Then I'm going to grab my thicker chain nose pliers. And if I can do this on camera. And I'm just going to squish that end in. It's easy if you go up to the thicker part of your, your chain nose pliers. So I want to get that squished in as much as I can. So it looks like that. And I'm going to grab my round, round nose pliers. I'm just going to pull that apart a little bit. Grabbing that with my round nose pliers. You can just you can decide how big you want to make your heart by how far up you ply. Oops, sorry. I'm grabbing that with my round nose pliers like that. And decide however big you want your heart just by sliding your um you wire up your, up your uh, round nose pliers. Okay, I'm going to go there. And I'm just going to bend that one around. And then bend this one around the other side. I'm trying to do this so I can see what I'm doing on camera and it's 
because normally I'd be holding it right up near my face so I can see and at a different angle as well. So I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit so I can grab it. Okay, that's looking right to me. Now I'm just going to grab my um, rubber tip pliers and just give that a bit of a smoosh. As I said, you can make this heart as big or as small as you want. Okay, that's what it should be looking like so far. Then I'm just going to grab my cutters. And on the shorter side of your wire, just going to cut that with the flush side facing towards the work. Cut that piece off. So it should be looking like that now. And I'm just going to grab my chain nose pliers. I'm going to bend this back, this short piece. like that I said this is easy and actually is easy if you're not doing it on a camera I know I keep saying that but it's so frustrating trying to show you guys something and it's so hard for me to do it on camera with something that's so easy for me to do off camera all right I'm trying what I'm trying to do here is line this um, piece that I've turned over up with the side of the heart going up this way. I think I've pretty much got that there from what I can see. And I'm just going to smoosh that down now. And just checking that there's nothing rough there. A little bit rough on one end. All right, that's nice and smooth now. So now we're going to need to bring in our mandrel. Now I've got two mandrels. This is the, the plastic one. That I'm using this one because it's got the numbers on it for the sizing. But I also have my um, metal one here. This doesn't have any numbers on it. So, well, I drew a couple of numbers on there, but um, that's the basic size that I do all the time. Um, yeah, so that's for when we hammer. Okay. Um, I want to make this one an, a nine. So I'm going to go up to about a nine and a half. Make sure you've got it up the right way too. I know we did that the wrong way then. I've still got it up the wrong way. Turn it over, Linda. Okay, I've got it on the nine and a half. Now we're just going to wrap that around. Sorry, I'll just have to take this off camera for a second just so I can get it hold on to it with my belly. <laughs> just till I bring it up. You won't miss anything, I'll show you. I'm just wrapping it around. Okay, I've got it up there now, so I just needed to get it around like that. So that's what it looks like there. Okay, now with this piece, I'm going to hook it onto the heart part. Sorry, the heart part up here. That's where I'm going to hook it onto. So I'm just going to take my chain those pliers, grab the end of that wire. Now you can, you can do this two ways. You can go over through the loop or you can come up and go through the loop the other way, whichever way is easiest for you. Um, wait, did I do it on my ring here? Yeah, I did this one um, through and over. So it's up to you, you can do it either way. So 
So I'm just grabbing the end of that. I've gone through the wire. I'm just grabbing the end of that little, um, oh, the end of the wire. And I'm just going to bend it over. Just like that. A little bit more. There we go. Got that there. Now I'm just going to squish it down, lining it up with the the wire that's running this way. Oops. Try not to slip like that, especially if you're using coated wire. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Now I'm just going to pop it back on my, I'm using my steel mandrel this time. Getting that in nice and tight. I'm grabbing my rubber mallet and I'm just going to give that a tap all the way around. Just like that. And I'm just going to give it the heart a couple of taps as well. Just little light ones. Take it off my mallet, pop it back on the other way. Again, this is um, work hardening the wire and giving it some strength. Okay, take that off the, and I'm just going to check it. And what what can kind of often happen? See how that's moved over to the side there. So I'm just going to grab my chain nose pliers and I'm just going to straighten that up. That just happens because of the hammering. A little bit more. There we go. Oh no, a little bit more. There, yeah, beautiful. Okay, and you could leave the ring just like that if you liked it like that. But me, I always have to add something extra. I can't help it. And as I said, if you want to make this as a birthstone ring, as a gift to somebody, or one for yourself. So I'm, you don't. Now I've got some 28 gauge wire. Now you don't need very much of this because we're only um, going to wrap around a few times. So I'm going to guess about. Just let me grab my tape measure here. This out of the way. Pop my very springy wire on here. And I'm just going to do 10, uh, 10 centimetres in inches. That's nearly four inches. So that is um, more than enough, I would say, a wire. So we're just going to cut that there, put that out of the way. Okay, grabbing our ring. We're just going to wire it to the heart now. If I can hold on to it. So I'm just going to hold that little tail there when I grab this piece. Pulling that in nice and tight. And I'm going to wrap it uh, three times, three or four, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Keeping those wraps nice and tight and next to each other. 
What have I got there? One, two, three. That's enough. Okay. So then I'm going to just come back up through the, um, the heart. Where's my wire gone? There it is. Pulling that last one tight. Grabbing a little stone. Popping it on. Fits beautifully inside. This is a little um, three millimeter. I didn't tell you that to start with. A little three millimeter rondelle. So we're just going to wire it to the other side, pulling that in nice and tight. I'll grab my um, chain nose just to grab the end of that wire and pull that in a bit tighter. it's starting to heat up here today it's supposed to be 33 today Ugh. I'm over the heat at the moment thank God for air conditioning although we don't use it that often we wait until it's really really hot before we turn it on I like to just have the windows open and maybe a fan blowing Okay, that's three wraps. Make, just making sure you get those in nice and tight next to each other. I'm just going to bring that around now to the back of the work. Grab my cutters. Snip that off. So you've got that much left over. So I probably could have done um, eight centimetres. Okay, I'm just going to grab my chain those pliers this is hard to see Ooh. I'm just gonna squish around there a little bit I'll get it eventually yep I got it and now this one I'm gonna bring him to the back I need my fine nose pliers for that I can barely see this 28 gauge wire. Push. There we go. So I might pull him around tight. There, I'm going to cut him off now. And grab my chain nose pliers and smush that one down as well. Still a little rough piece there. Okay, that's done it. Alright. So that's our little ring there, guys. I think it's really cute in the silver. Pop it on. See which finger it fits. It's going to fit this one here. And that's what it looks like. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Actually, I'd wrap that over the top. I should have gone underneath. See that last wrap there? You can notice it a little bit. I should have gone underneath and come up and through and then finished it off. But anyway, you live and learn. So cute little ring. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you did subscribe. Um, everybody have a lovely day. And um, I'll catch you all in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye.